All right, Bobcat fans, we have the segment of Administrator of the Week, Mr. Glenn Young. My name's Guy Walker, James Gibson, sponsored by our local Sonic. Mr. Young, thank you for coming. How are you today? My pleasure. I'm doing good. Doing good so far. Tell me, tell me a little about your background. How long have you been in education? I, I've been in the education for 46, 46 years. Uh, I started out in 1977 at Jefferson High School. Uh, I was a teacher coach at that time. And basically, I dealt with small kids. Taught at, a, at an elementary school, went over to the high school in the afternoon, and, and coached high school kids. So I'm going to ask, I've asked all the is it harder with the young kids than it is the, the, the older kids, or which one's the hardest for you? I would say probably the, the, the young kids. The older kids, uh, you know, they pretty much, you, you can tell them uh, where to get on. They know how to get on and get off. The younger kids, you have to repeat yourself over and over a lot with them. <coughs> Mr. Young, I've, I've known you a little while now. Yes, I bet you don't have to repeat yourself a whole lot, <laughs> do you? <laughs> Not too much, but I, I have to repeat myself. So you've been vice principal here in Hallsville for 24 years. Yes, 24 years. And you've seen a lot of change in Hallsville. What is the yeah. biggest change that you've seen here in, in, in Hallsville HISD? I would say probably, it, it was amazing to me the number, how fast the numbers changed. When I came, I want to say we had like maybe four or 500 kids in high school. And, you know, it's practically done, done double now. And also, uh, I see, uh, I've seen a change in how you motivate kids. Uh, it's not necessarily that the kids have changed. It's just over a period of time, time things things change with time, and you can still use the same sort of methodology, but you just got to know how know how to kin it in a different right, different right. way and present it to them. See, I'm glad Mark's understand. not here because see, Mark wouldn't understand what that methodology was, and we'd have to slow down and explain it. But that's a big word, and Mark has trouble okay. with big words. Okay. <laughs> so, in your in your spare time, uh, I, I know you. You love to fish. Tell me, what's, what's your favorite kind of fishing? Uh, uh, probably crappie. I like, I like crappie. I like fishing for crappie. Uh, and I like night fishing, fishing at night. I, I've had most of my success at night time. So where, where's your favorite fishing hole at? I would say uh, Lake of the Pines. Like so you, the are you a, 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 a jig or do you do, do the, the shiners? I like jigging. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> I like the jig because when, when the crappie hit, they love those, those, those little jigs. And so you're a night fisherman. See, I, I'm not a big night. I'm scared to death of snakes. A lot of people don't know that. Okay. So at night, I can't see the snakes. Uh -huh. But you're, you're more of a night fisherman. I'm more of a night fisher in the wintertime. In, in the, the wintertime. Yes, in the wintertime. All right. What else? I know you have a ranch. Tell, tell us a little bit about your ranch. Well, uh, I was raised up on a farm, so I know <coughs> a little bit about how to farm, uh, how to raise animals, because my dad had cows and hogs and things of that nature. Uh, I had no plans. I wanted to get away from all that type of stuff when I was a kid. Want to go away and do something totally different. But as you get older, you know, you kind of kind of drift back to, uh, got to fill that vacant time with something. Right. And you right. want, and you end up filling with stuff that you know how, how to do. So uh, I always wanted land. So I uh, acquired uh, acres of land, and then once I done that, then I. Uh, looked at what type of breaks could I get as for dealing with the government to feed and stuff. So I got off into cow. I just I just have a small herd. I run run about twenty five heads, you know. So it's something to keep you busy doing. Between the the, the, the cows and the fencing, because I talk to you during the summer all the time. Mm -hmm. You always working on fencing the cows. That time. keeps you pretty busy, right yeah. there. Yeah, on the farm, <coughs> always something to do. Always, always something. something to do, man. You know, now, a lot I, of things to do. I, I, I hold a special. You know, my, my oldest son, Jacob, and Jamil yeah. was, was really good mm -hmm. friends. And mm -hmm. Jamil was, was one heck of an athlete, track okay. star. Was you a, a, a star athlete back in? And when I was in high school? Yes, sir. Uh, I, was, I, I ran track and I played football. Uh, those were my, my two favorite sports. Uh, I grew up back during the time when we were picking cotton. It was right. the same thing as you, you had to pick cotton and stuff of, of nature. So. I got off into football because I wanted to do something, something different in life. And uh, when you're raised on a farm, you know, your dad kind of put his foot down. When he put his foot down, <laughs> you got you to gotta kind of go by, go by that. So I was able to convince him over a period of time that it would probably be in my best interest and his best interest if he allowed me to do something, something different. So I got off into athletics for, for that particular purpose. Right. Yeah. 
Well, I just, Mr. Young has been a valuable resource for me coming in as a new principal, and I ask him all the time, why do we do this or why do we do that? And he's got a, a wealth of knowledge and background in Hallsville High School. And I, I guess one of the questions I have for you is, 24 years as an administrator here at Hallsville, mm -hmm. you've worked with a lot of students mm -hmm. over the years. Uh -huh. And as those students graduate and move on with their lives, what do you want them to remember about you as an administrator here? I think probably the most important thing is is uh, that I was a fair person in dealing with. Uh, that's all you can you know you can ask. Uh, you you got to want to be consistent and you want to be fair in your dealing. And when you do it that way, uh, people remember that over a period of time. And well, Mr. Mr. Thank Young, you thank you so much for being okay. with us. This has been the Administrator of the Bank Week, sponsored by Roof Masters and your local Sonic. Thank you, Bobcat fans. Okay. Thank you.